Hello everyone, welcome to CNT Auctioneers. This is our US office uh, where we've just finished cataloging for our US based auction. Uh, just quickly spin around so you can see some of the bits that we've got coming up in this auction. Uh, the catalog will be going live very shortly and probably by the time this video goes live, uh, the catalog will be online. I will show you a few pieces in a bit more detail. Um, but here's just a quick overview of the items that we've got coming up. So you can see quite a good selection of German dress daggers in the auction, uh, including uh, some very nice SA, SS, so if you're close up here, NSKK chained, post shirts. Uh, very fortunate to have two government officials and then also a diplomat's dagger here as well. Uh, clearly see the difference with the cross guard with the eagles facing a different way on the diplomats to the governments where it faces the same way hopefully you can see that a bit clearer there so different to the top pommel for a diplomat and then a government official facing the same way uh, so there's two two nice government officials one with straps in the original knot and uh, here two, lot 220 is a particular interesting dagger which I'll show you in a bit more detail shortly, which is a SS with a full Rome inscription. Up here again, another SS, a very nice RED named, Land Customs, uh, Luftwaffe second pattern, but with the black grip known as the morning grip here by Robert Klaas. Again, oops, nice example. Uh, Hit the youth leader. Again, a real out of the woodwork example. Uh, moving around, we've got a, Good selection of German helmets, all various types. Um, double decal, uh, round the wrong way here, but uh, double decal police, which I'll just show you quickly. Nice apple green for the original and original. Oh, yeah, there you are. Uh, original party shield decal there. So, quite a good selection of steel helmets. A nice Japanese one there with the original cover. Uh, police motorcyclist helmet and police shako. And this is quite a, a rare one. This is the uh, police motorcycle helmet, but for the traffic police. Again, rare piece here, which is coming up in the auction. Uh, Winter Panzer Berry, various Africa Corps Pith helmets, and various peak caps of the German Armed Forces political leaders and Luftwaffe, etc. Up here we have some of the Fezes for the uh, Bosnian troops and uh, a Waff Waffen SS and two Algemein SS peak caps. A couple of police visors including a very nice summer pattern with white top and a nice Kriegsmarine example there. Uh, also not just headdress and pieces we've got some other interesting pieces some quite interesting aircraft pieces which are coming up, which are well worth having a look at when we see on our website. Uh, Japanese parachute, various banner tops and pieces. And then we have some aircraft pieces as well. This is from an American aircraft and from a Junkers German aircraft there that was just picked up in Russia. So quite a good little selection of pieces. Um, hopefully you'll be able to see the catalogue online very shortly. And uh, I'll show you a few more bits in a bit more detail now. So one of the items I'd like to show you now is this uh, rare SS man's dagger um, with the full Rome dedication on the back. So, so let's just have a quick look for you. Really nice untouched example. Um, original insignia there in the grip. A uh, little bit of verdigris and um, patina to the fittings. Um, but generally really I quite like this one like this, you know, completely untouched, out of the woodwork example. So, uh, so, so you can see the lot number. So this is lot 220 in the auction, which takes place on the 5th of April. Um, but let me just take some shots of the blade. So hopefully the, uh, the quality of the blade will uh, show here on the video. Um, it's really, really nice. A lot of the cross graining, a um, lot of the detail in the motto still there. Um, and like we said, the rare part is, of course, the dedication on the back. So made by Herder, uh, but this one has the full Rome dedication 
Uh, hopefully you can see that. I'll get it in a bit of a better light for you, uh, for you to be able to see the full Rome dedication. Really rare to find on these daggers. So uh, yeah, good, good example. Now another rare item that we've got coming up in the auction, uh, again it is third right related, um, but it is a Deutschen Avac standard. Now very very rare flag from the third right period. So this is the, obviously the famous Deutschen Avac standard, um, always flown and always seen pictures of these being flown with the elaborate um, pole tops with the big eagles. Uh, very very iconic and very similar to the uh, the, uh, the ideology and the Roman a look at the centurions that was I think the look they were going for the third right when they produced these pieces um again really really nice quality uh piece you can see the workmanship in the embroidery there and uh, again these are famously seen at all the major political rallies uh, that hitler and the third right took place especially in early parts of germany um very very sought after pieces and many of these were destroyed uh, at the end of the war, uh, cause they they uh, didn't want to be captured. Um, these pieces, they they were quite symbolic of the Third Reich, uh, for the hardcore fanatics that were still in Germany at that time. Um, yeah, so really, really uh, pleased to have this in the sale, um, and uh, you can see it coming up on the fifth of April. So another grouping I'd like to show you today is a U.S. Marine Corps uh, uniform group, which we've got coming up in the auction. Um, and it's really pleased because obviously we don't do a lot of American stuff normally back in our UK auctions. So we're really pleased that here in the US we're getting some good, interesting American pieces. Um, and I really like to show you this uh, US Marine Corps uniform group, which I think is uh, really quite a nice, nice thing. So uh, let me show you some more details of this. So it's one full man's uniform. So there we've got these trousers. Um, here's all various pictures uh, he took on while during his service. Um, I think some of these are his comrades, etc. Uh, various Japanese females probably met whilst uh, abroad on service. Um, and some original paperwork. And this is the uh, gentleman whose uniform it belonged to. Uh, his name was uh, Private Forrest W. Gracie. Um, he served with the 1st Marines, uh, with the famous uh, Guadalcanal Canal. Uh, patch and what's interesting which uh, with this uniform and what makes it a little bit nicer than a standard Royal, Mar uh, Royal Marines US Marine Corps uniform is that it's got an Australian made uh, first Marine division patch there so uh, again makes it a little bit different um, and it's again just nice condition uniform um, inside hopefully you can see it's uh, nicely stamped and again dated hopefully you can possibly see that 1942 inside and uh named there to him there also typical with marine corps uniforms to be named and stamped all inside the arm and uh, various other pieces of his u.s marine corps kit including cap covers which again you can see have got his name written on them um and then a real nice little novelty thing um Japanese flag that he obviously captured and brought home as a souvenir to United when he came home to the United States. So really nice grouping. Um, I really like it. I think it's really interesting uh, and I'm pleased to have some other pieces like this in the auction. So I'm going to take you through now to another part of the office um, where we're going to see some uh, various swords that we've got coming up. So you can see a Scottish uh, basket hilt sword there, Marmaluke, American pattern sabre, various Luftwaffe swords and Imperial German swords, um, Russian Shaska, which has got an interesting history and story, so you'll be able to see that in the catalogue, various uh, German army officer swords, various qualities, various makers and types, uh, and then some uh, Japanese swords. Um, but again, one of the things I really want to show you in here is uh, a selection of Imperial German headdress. Um, this one you may have seen in our advertising and on our front cover for this auction. This is the Bavarian General's Pickle Hall. Uh, we also have a very nice Saxon Jaeger Suthea and uh, a Bavarian 
helmet there that was brought back by the same person who brought back the general's helmet. Uh, this helmet also covered up is quite an unusual one. Other ranks helmet here. So again, you can read all about this one on our website. Uh, but like I said, I wanted to just show you a bit more of the Bavarian generals we've got coming up um, and some of the other Imperial headdress pieces. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this short video. Um, do log on to our website, cntauctions.co.uk, uh, where you can see all these lots that are coming up. Like I said, this is in our USA fine military auction, uh, here based here in Pennsylvania, USA. Uh, all takes place online. And uh, yeah, have a, have a good look and I hope you enjoy. And if you like this video, please press the subscribe button uh, to see more videos from CNT Auctioneers. Uh, and we'd like to thank you again for watching this video. Thank you very much. Have a good evening. Bye-bye.